Pump and drive. Peterson gets the completion. Lakey Peterson. We leave today for Australia. And I'm going for my last surf before quarantine. 14 days of no surfing. Boards are being loaded on the beloved Forerunner. We are uh, packed, fairly packed. Cars ready, passports, surfboards, good attitude. Hubby, I think I got it all. Making a coffee and then we're going to LA. Ice coffees. Bradley International. Here we go. You guys want to know what it looks like when an entire tour goes on one plane? You have board bags everywhere. We got our boarding passes. Ready to go. We're here. There's no one in the airport. Everyone's on the plane. The whole tour like fills this thing up. I'm not gonna lie. most exciting thing that happens in quarantine is a knock. This is either food or workout gear. The gifts. Foam roller. Ooh. Nutribullet bullet blender. Pilates ball. Bands. Bands. A recovery pillow. Thank you, Red Bull. Thank you, WSL. Driving into the university. It's about 90 k's. We love this guy, Bo. We're big fans of your content. So we're watching your new video. Just had a knock. Oh, yes. Supreme. How many miles are we gonna go? Tom's been on the spin bike for an ample amount of time. Look at this sweat. Damn boy! Chasing the cookie. What's your, what are you doing? What's Three your... coffees and a block of chocolate this morning. So I'm earning it. So they've got this... An hour on the bike. 30 seconds, uh, one minute on, one minute off. There's chocolate here in Australia. It's called Top Deck. And it's Tom's favorite chocolate in the world. And because we don't live in Australia full time, he hasn't had it. So he went through this yesterday when we got it and then he got another one delivered today that he hasn't opened i think that's why he's on the spin bike just going ham dog because he feels pretty guilty guys we've just had our biggest delivery yet yes boxing gloves and boxing 
mitt pad things. Racquetball together. Bang. That's Our it. neighbors are gonna be stoked. <laughs> By far the best thing. There's no uh, punch for our basketball. Here. So I've used a pointer's pin. And we're gonna save that little ball here. If you haven't uh, been able to tell lately, Tom has been very into basketball. Me too, for Lakers fans. So also, Tom's uh, given in and done the ponytail. No, only when we're playing basketball. It affects me when it gets in my eyes, and Lex was laughing at me yesterday because she thinks I'm not good at ball sports. But it was really because I couldn't see what I was doing. So, because I can see what I'm doing, this is what I do. Oh. I'm on the line, no cheating there. My toes alive. No cheating. Alright, so we're gonna play a game. It's called. We're playing knockout? Knockout. Of course. It's called knockout. You shoot, if you miss it and the next person gets it, they win. Or do you ladies go first? I did play basketball in my youth. I was pretty was good. This is harder than real buck. Oh! So, if you haven't heard already on our Instagram, Tom is going to be doing a 24-hour bike ride. He's not getting off that bike for 24 hours, right, babe? If I lost. Will be a challenge. Andy's doing it um, for a really cool charity, actually, called WWF, the World Wildlife Fund. So we're going to link the GoFundMe he's got going. We're trying to raise... 10 grand for that. If we do hit the goal of 10 grand, Tom's getting a mullet. This is happening next Thursday. He's gonna bike. Wednesday in America, Thursday here in Australia. We hit the link, check it out. Tom's crazy. What's up, guys? Blakey has been beating me in ordering scores, which, if you're not familiar with the ordering, it's that little thing on, on our fingers. Tom, I never beat Tom. And he has had like two, so they score you on zero to 100, 100 being the best. You have a little app and it tells you your sleep score, your temperature, your heart rate, all this good stuff, your RAM, your deep, your, your light sleep. And so I've never hit anything into the 90s. And our first night here, I went bang, went 91. Second day I was here, I went I went 80. 76 first day. And then went you went 88. I went 79. And then I went 87. And I went 70. So she's smoking me. I gotta start sabotaging her sleep. Setting weird alarms that wake her up and not me. So the reason why we're talking about this is the WSL gave us all rings um, before coming to Australia because the cool thing about it is that, yeah, it tracks your sleep and your, your heart rate, but um, and it tracks your recovery, but it also tracks your, your body temperature. And so with COVID, what they're doing is the WSL can track all of our body temperatures that we're getting. So if anybody's temperature goes up, um, they can kind of check in with that athlete and be like, hey, are you okay? Should we do a COVID test? Just to be super, super uh, cautious. Okay, here's the thing. I have been taking vitamin D tablets. Tom refuses to take them, but we don't get sun in here. We get sun, we've, we've timed it. We get sun starting at 11.40 to about 12.40 every day. 11.23, if you lean on a like a 20 degree angle off the balcony and go arms out, you get as much sun as possible. And it lasts for about an hour and then you lose it. And then you've got to go, I'll take you on a little tour here. You've got to go to a second balcony, which isn't really a balcony, it's more of a door. Yes. And then you have to come out this side and do the same. The problem is really that building blocks all our sun all day. Okay, what's up everybody? It is day six of quarantine. I'm gonna do a workout with my trainer, Peter Park. He's gonna FaceTime me in a minute. And for equipment, we've got the bike. Um, we've got dumbbells that are 10 kgs, 14 kg kettlebell, and then a 20 kg kettlebell. And then I've got TRX, Sliders, bands, um, yoga mat, and then join along for the workout. Here we go. What's up? Hey. 
<laughs> I'm filming you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come out of it. See if you go a little taller. Like, don't go forward. Like, just get tall, push out. So I've trained with Peter since I was a little girl, literally since I was probably 10 years old. And it's awesome to train actually over FaceTime. To be honest, it works really well. He, he and I have worked together for so long that I do know what he's looking for in terms of form and I feel like I understand my body and positioning that I need. But um, overall, he can definitely direct me uh, pretty well and I feel like my workouts and my fitness level uh, only goes up. So. All right, I just finished my workout with Peter and I'm gonna um, make some breakfast. I'm gonna make a smoothie. It's really, it's like coming out of summer here and so it's still really warm and humid. So Tom is watching the UFC outside. So anyways, it's nice and warm. So I feel like a smoothie and uh, the WSO has kindly provided us with these little, this little baby blender. The mini Nutribullet, look how cute it is. It's like the same size as the jar. Okay, peanut butter. Blueberries, banana. Best thing about Australia, guys, is the Koyo. Coconut yogurt, unbelievable. Activated almond milk. Primal Kitchen, vanilla coconut collagen. Not an ad, I just liked it. You okay with that? Then, you don't have to plug it into the wall. You just turn it on, and then bang, bang. Cheers. So I am obviously extremely lucky to have Tom as my husband and an osteopath, um, and have him work on me on the road, especially in quarantine. It is a nice way to pass the time if he's willing to work on me, which he usually is. And uh, yeah, for me, if you followed my journey for a while, I've had low back pain and a lot of surfers tend to have problems with their back uh, just because there's so much twisting, extension, kind of weird uh, explosive positions. But I've found, honestly, with surfers, if you do have low back pain, the biggest thing that's helped me is just releasing my hips overall i've worked on that extensively with tom in terms of you know getting treatment consistently but also coming down to me uh just stretching more decompressing at the end of the day and doing all that sort of stuff <laughs>